Sometimes I like to walk up a hillock and just sit on it and forget about the hurly and the burly of modern life. But that's not always so easy to do. Even if you get up at the crack of dawn and clomp off to the middle of nowhere, you can't always escape the the stresses of the modern age, either in your surroundings or in here. Those thoughts clonking around your mind like shoes in a tumble dryer. But it often does you the world of good to just sit still, to stop running around like a rat and experience the silence for as long as you can and to see how long you can go before thoughts start entering your mind. I saw my neighbour earlier and she said, oh where, where are you off to? And I said, I'm just going to sit still and she said, oh, it's all right for some. I've got to go to Lidl and buy 20 bottles of Prime for my grandson's birthday party. And I said, well, you don't have to do that. You too could just sit still and you could tell your grandson Hamish to just sit still as well. Anyway, she uh, smiled like this <laughs> and then drove off. But uh, moments later, I was walking up the road and I saw that she was stuck in a traffic jam. So I just knocked on the window and I said, oh look, you are just sitting still after all. But uh, I don't think she heard me. But it's strange how the universe works sometimes. I used to enjoy sitting up on a hill with my eyes closed. But uh, it's not so easy to do that these days because of the variety of threats that are lurking. Whether that's serial killers or confrontational teenagers or deranged ramblers who've gone giddy on protein bars. It's uh, not always easy to relax. I actually know a man, let's just call him Michael Herpington, who was sat on his own up a hill and he got picked up by two kestrels and they dragged him about a hundred yards before letting him go. And later Michael realised it was because he was wearing a particularly fluffy coat. And as far as the kestrels were concerned, he looked like a giant dormouse. He's still got the scars. You know, there's nothing quite like just sitting still with a little tea or a coffee, or maybe something even stronger. I know there's one local man who likes nothing more than coming up here and getting absolutely hammered. So he's not so much about just sitting still as lying flat on his back, completely out of it but uh, each to their own. You 
You know, the funny thing is, nature doesn't actually want us to sit still for too long. How do we know that? Well, two things, dead legs and hemorrhoids, neither of which we want. But before we get going, let's just take a few more seconds to just sit still together. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.